everyone's skin. We just got sandwiches. One says B and one says T. That's bacon. Bacon, there you go. Bacon. Bacon is good for me. I got Taylor ham and Vermont cheddar and egg over medium, whatever that means. And I got bacon. And my dad got bacon. She looks delicious. It's currently 1045, so we're gonna be the second shift of skiers. We didn't get up here super early because I just got contacts. So I had to go learn how to put in my contacts. <laughs> so my dad waited outside for me and now we are headed up to the mountain. Yeah, it looks like a nice day. It hasn't been snowing a ton, but it's been cold enough that I hope they're blowing snow. How's yours? Good burger. I guess Taylor ham is just ham. I'm sure if it's something special, it must be aged or smoke or something. Mm-hmm. Yep. There we have it. There she is. Right, exactly. And you're killing it, girl. Thanks. First day of the year? First of the year. I skied twice last year, and I before last year, I hadn't skied since 2018. Crazy. I got so much in my pockets right now, except my lip balm, which is the most important part. I got my new supplies. My dad's new poles. He's very proud. Sponsor, Zipline. Very cool. I would, I would say all of you should get Ziplines goggles because they're really really good see he's an influencer in his own right yes he already life. started doing an outfit of the day my, own mind. my goggles are from smith my dad gave them to me aka i stole them from him my helmet's a really old pock helmet i actually have a lululemon neck warmer on a lululemon jacket it, it looks less flattering on camera. I think it's the Sleet Street um, jacket. It's a great everyday jacket, and then one day I realized it's totally warm enough to wear skiing. And I have Burton pants. That's our outfit of the day. Says it all. Except you said your goggles for Smith, they're actually Rosignol. Oh. Rosignol goggles, but that's all right. They're Rosignol. Nope. All good. You got any words of advice to our viewers? No. Don't put control. No judgment zone. Uh, this is like no Planet Fitness. Zone. No judgment zone. Free. Just, just well, hold on. If you wait for everybody, you'll never do anything. Come. everybody it is Saturday morning I went skiing yesterday with my dad we had such a good time but I was toast last night and like fell asleep at 8 30 I think so I am well rested and ready to crush the day and boy do I have some errands to run I'm at the liquor store right now parked way back in the parking lot because there are so many people here I've never had to park this far back luckily I'm just doing a pickup order so hopefully this will go quick Gotta go to the liquor store, then I'm going to Marshall's right after to get a few things, hopefully to finish out some presents. I have to go to the grocery store, I have to go to Target, and I have to run out a few extra errands because every single person in my family is sick and therefore cannot do their last minute things, so I will be doing that. Home for the holidays! 
So I have been pumping preventative kind of herbally supplements to try to not get sick because if I were to get sick right about now, I would likely be sick for New Year's. And even though I don't have plans yet, that would be stinky. But all you can do is pray. Let's go get some things. Merry Christmas Eve. A little dreary here. I just did some last minute stops at the grocery store. Having a festive little beverageino. The La Colombe Peppermint Mocha Latte. I haven't had one this year. That is so good. I forgot how good that is. And this has only six grams of added sugar, which is really good because I like to, especially this time of year, save all my sugar consumption for my copious amounts of candy and gummy obsession. So that's pretty good for one of these like canned beverages that sometimes can pack a punch when it comes to sugar. I mean, I don't, I don't really usually look at fat and carb stuff, but three and a half grams of fat and 15 grams of carbs. I don't track my calories. I just intuitively eat. I just feel like I eat mainly whole foods when it comes to my actual meals itself. So when I'm doing like little snacks and things like that, I do eat like processed granola bars and little canned beverages like this and, and whatnot. I do want to start making a conscious effort in 2024 to stop with my processed food consumption, but for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty good. I should add that to my resolution list or my vision board or something like that. Like process stuff with a big X through it. It's hard to avoid sometimes though, especially when you're on the go and my job is so on the go. Some days I'm just, I have a two hour drive home. I ate all my lunch at my account and I need a granola bar and all they have is cliff bars. And those things are essentially candy bars, but you know what a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I'm a little emo right now. I just parked in my favorite parking spot at my park. Take a shot whenever you hear the word park, but I'm sitting in the parking spot. I always was in when I did my long runs back in summer when I was training for my first half marathon. I just have like the best memories. I was filming here but when I first started my channel. Uh, I don't know, it's just really nostalgic. I haven't been here in a while. It's just crazy, the year flew by, especially like the latter half of the year. It was so quick. And this year I'm just so grateful. I made, I think I talked about it in my last vlog, a lot of changes in my life in the past, I don't even wanna say year, cause it's really been like the past six months. And it was definitely a year of growth and growing pains. I wouldn't say 2023 was my best year ever. I wouldn't say it was my worst. I, I hate to be negative like that. It was a really interesting mix of good and bad, more in the sense that I went through some difficult shit, sorry, difficult stuff, which in turn let a lot of great things blossom. Oh, what's this? My life is so different, but really different for the better. And all the really, really, really most important things in my life are still there and stronger than ever. So you know who you are, people. I'll show you what I'm wearing while I'm sitting here blabbing away. I am wearing this really cute hat and glove set from Target. It's the brand Universal Thread. It's hella cheap. I would recommend. It's only 41 today, so I don't need like a super warm, fleece-lined, down puffer situation for my for my gloves. So these are just like a nice staple pair of knit gloves with like a matching hat. It's a beanie that I just thought it was cute for Christmas. I'm wearing a red defined jacket. It's old, 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 but I do love this for the holiday season. Actually all year round. I love red regardless of what time of year it is. Self tanner on my jacket is in fact loving tan. So if you saw that, no you didn't. My super puff is from Aritzia. It's white. I got it two years ago. Everywhere else looks brand new, crisp white, but my self-tanner usage um, has definitely put a little bit of a number onto the collar. I'm wearing flared leggings. <laughs> Splits 59 flare leggings. When I was shopping, I was wearing these bad boys. So I initially bought them because I thought they were kind of like fugly cute, Nordic, I'm Swedish, so I thought they would kind of were an ode to my heritage, but I actually wear them way more than I thought. I love these. 
they really go with everything. They give me a nice little boost. I'm definitely gonna get another pair, I think in black, just to have. And then I'm gonna change into some sneaks right now. These sneakers are great for walking. I don't, I used to do orange theory classes in them just for like short distance running. I wouldn't wear them for long distance, but they are the Lululemon Bliss Feels. They're always on sale on Lululemon for some reason. As you can probably hear in my voice, I got sick. <laughs> I got the sickness that my whole family got. I'm just doing some last minute wrapping, naturally. I've done these so far. Just kept it simple and classic. When in doubt, just crunch it up. I don't know. Look at the glittery acorns. That's so cute. So I put it on Hannah's because I know she'd love it. Excuse me. What are you doing behind there? Oh no. <laughs> Do you like my new dish brush? Oh, no. this is like a six thousand dollars. It would have been like. You're crazy, girl. Yeah, Thanks, Mom. And I, I think it would be better to have the dog. So, which one should I wear be? for sleep? Was it a was it a, was it a dog was it a dog thing? That no, it wasn't. Hi there. Um, can I have a medium diet coke, please? Okay. That'll be it. Thank you so much. I have been such a bad vlogger. Today I'm finally feeling better, and I am gonna try to do a little bit of work. I'm going to an account right now, but of course needed to stop for a diet coke because that's an absolute necessity. I feel like whenever I get a little bit of time off, my body just says, okay, time to get sick. So, I mean, obviously it's way better than getting sick when it's very busy or you're going on a vacation or something like that. But I was hoping to have a few like fun days seeing my friends, going skiing, but no. I made the longevity soup from the Blue Zones documentary. And it's so, so good. I think next time I make it, I want to add like meat to it because it's just vegetarian and I just want a little bit of protein. Ooh, sorry, got distracted there. But what I was saying was I made the longevity soup, <laughs> the longevity soup from the Blue Zones documentary and it's delicious. Just like chock full of vegetables. Definitely helped me while I was sick. I eat it a lot. I think next time I would like to add a little bit of like maybe like Italian sausage or something like that. I think that would that would mix in nicely with the soup. Uh, I just always try to find ways to sneak my protein in. I think I want to be even more intentional about that in 2024. I'm definitely better than I used to be. I mean, I used to be vegetarian, so getting protein was extra difficult. But as the years have gone on, I've definitely been better about being mindful about eating protein, protein packing in my my morning, specifically at breakfast, has been instrumental, especially for my job currently. I have crazy early mornings and it's very easy to just not eat breakfast, but I need to be on my game super early in the morning. So I typically like meal prep my breakfasts and make sure there's at least like 25 grams of protein in there because it really does help me keep me satiated and also stay sharp in the morning and then after like 2 30 my brain can kind of turn off for the day yes eat more protein 
and drink more Diet Cokes. Hello, I'm back for the weekend. <laughs> I've now made a almost full recovery, pretty much there for my Christmas sickness. So, oh no, not looking my finest. I'm heading to Utica, New York, to see Max's hockey game. Oh, Poppy, ooh, Poppy, jeez, yum. Let us hit the road. Hey, sis. Hi. Wow, oh, all black. Oh, but G has a cute outfit on. Okay, look at the checkered. Wow. I know this is like adventurous for me. It's kind of fun. Warm and cozy. I wish I could have. I wish I had matched you. I should have gotten that one from Rent the Runway. Glad you and both of us in our checker jacket. Looking so like checkerboard. Checkmate, baby. Christmas bells in heaven. I knocked Max's toothbrush over. Camera shy. Oh, oh. And I was like, and then the Chin on your leg. Brody. <laughs> Hi, beggar. Slobber. <laughs> Don't chew it. Good afternoon, everybody. Had a fun morning with Gretchen. Just slow morning. We didn't have a lot of pep in our step, but we did go to a coffee shop and Jen took Brody for a walk. And I am home now. I'm getting ready for some New Year's Eve festivities. I got invited to my friend Bree's house. She's having a little party. She has a five month old. How old Charlotte? Bree, how old Charlotte? July, August, September, October, November, December. She's just over five months. So I'm so excited to see her and her baby. I'm like so happy to be out of the stage of my life where <clears throat> New Year's Eve is just like drinking as much as you possibly can. I remember one year I drank so much Malibu um, that I like simply cannot even look at a Malibu bottle ever again. I think it was my sophomore year of college. Oh, I think I think this is done. I think this will be my last use of this this here powder. It's the Rare Beauty setting powder. I use it under my eyes every day definitely 
my favorite ever. Looks like this. I'm also excited because, as I said, I was sick on Christmas, so I didn't get to make my espresso martinis. I got to make them, but I didn't get to have one, so I'm gonna remake them today. They were tasty from what I've heard. Okay, everyone, welcome to my bar. I will say I have no credentials to be making drinks other than the fact that I like to make them. So I wanted to disclaim that and throw that out there. I did just test out the recipe and I figured out the proportions, so I wanted to share them with you. I have bourbon cream, nice substitute for your traditional Baileys. I know Baileys gets a bad rep sometimes. I personally love Baileys in my espresso martinis, but this may be a fun alternative. Also, Happy New Year. I have both tequila and vodka. We have simple syrup. We have Cafe Amaro, Am Amaro, which is a coffee liqueur. Classic Kahlua. And my brother brewed me some espresso. Let's get going. I'm gonna add some more ice to this. And we're gonna start with the base. I'll do one with tequila, cause that's what my brother's girlfriend, Emily, wanted. So we'll do that. I'm gonna give her an ounce of tequila. And then I decided doing a half of the bourbon cream, a half of this Cafe Amaro, and then half of Kahlua is a nice combination. We're gonna do half of this, half of Kahlua, half-ish dash of simple syrup, who knows? And then with a few shots in here, so I'll just kind of eyeball how much espresso. Let's get her a little bit more espresso. And this is not going to be pretty, so let's cut it this. We'll cut this part out. As you can see, the glasses are a little bit big for what we're going for here, but looking pretty good. I'm liking the color. It could be a little bit darker. I have my one earlier here to reference. This one I'm going to save for M. This is a great twist on your classic espresso martini. I would highly recommend trying this at your next bash. I think it's sure to make waves. Excuse my little princess. All right, here you go. Taste test. Look who's back. <laughs> That's awesome. It's good? Yeah, it's awesome. Is it better? I like that? the little glass too. The glass is cute, right? You approve? Is that I, tequila? I think the one with tequila just tastes better. I mean, I'm biased, but. I like it. Very good, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Happy New Year, Brebo. <laughs> ah! Special. 